hello everyone let's provide a solution to this problem a b plus b equals 10 okay so we have this as our equation 1 then we have a plus b also equals 10 and we have this as our equation 2 and we are to solve this problem simultaneously so what do we do we can make b the subject from equation 2 so that we have b equals 10 minus a and this becomes our equation 3 we are still going back to this equation 3 but the next thing is to put this equation 3 into equation 2 and okay we put equation 3 into equation 1 which is a b plus b equals 10 now our a is still there but b is now 10 minus a then plus b is still 10 minus a if you like have this in brackets and everything is equal to 10 now let us open the bracket we have 10 a minus a squared plus 10 minus a equals 10 so what can I do from here you will see that this and this will cancel each other and then we have 10 a minus a squared minus a equals 0 because we've already cancelled this now to continue we can subtract this if we collect like them so we have 9 a minus a squared equals 0 what I've done is to collect like terms 10 a minus a is 9 a and this is still coming but the one with the highest power should come first no battery. Please charge. the one with the highest power should come first so I'm going to write minus a squared plus 9 a equals 0 okay and then we are not expected to have um, this negative coefficient so we'll multiply everything by negative 1 that will give us a squared minus 9a equals 0 okay so from here now we have a quadratic equation and we can solve it by factorization a is common we have a again minus 9 and everything is equal to 0 now we apply 0 product rule it is either a is 0 or a minus 9 is equal to 0 a is equal to 0 or a is equal to 0 plus 9 so we are going to say that our a is equal to 0 or 9 now we will go back to our equation 3 where we have b to be equal to 10 minus a okay so we work with the first value of a and that is 0 okay now since we have two values of a 0 or 9 we are expected to have two values of b so our b now shall be 10 minus a which is now 0 meaning that our b is equal to 10 so what are we saying our a comma b will now be equal to 0 comma 10 okay if you do not understand what this means it means that when a is equal to 0 b is equal to 10 this is what this means 
Now let's go back to the other value of a. Our b is still 10 minus a. So b now will be equal to 10 minus okay so our a this time around is 9 right so i will write 9 over here and then b will be equal to 10 minus 9 is 1 so now our a comma b at this point will be equal to 9 comma 1 this also means that when a is equal to 9, b is equal to 1. And we are going to verify this solution to be sure that we are right or to know whether we are wrong. Okay, so this is our equation 1 from what we had before. And then our a comma b zero comma ten a comma b nine comma ten. So I'm going to work with the first value, which which is zero comma ten. So our a b becomes zero multiply by ten because b is ten, right? Then plus ten. We have ten over there. Okay, so. What will this give us? If you do not apply your board mass, you will be wrong. If you want to multiply this first, or you want to add 10 and 4, I mean 10 and 10, before multiplying by 0, you will be wrong. So it has to be 0 times 10, which will give 0, then plus 10. 0 plus 10 is giving us 10. And that's why we had 10. On the right hand side of the equation okay now let's put in the second value which is 9 comma 1 so our a b becomes 9 times 1 then plus our b is is 1 right according to this our b is 1 and then like I said before 9 times 1 is 9 then plus 1 is equal to 10 and that's why we also had 10 right there. So this means that the two solutions satisfy our equation 1. Let's look at equation 2 briefly where we have a plus b equals 10, right? If a is equal to 0, then we have 0 plus b, which is 10, and it's equal to 10, meaning that it satisfies and then if a is 9 from the second solution, then we have 9 plus b, 1. And that is still 10, meaning that it also satisfies. Thank you for watching.